Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and this video is going to be really exciting and informative for some of you guys who are editing the photos and maybe are in the graphic designing field. So today we are going to be talking about how to use Adobe Firefly inside Adobe Photoshop. So this method is going to be working in 2023 and even in 2024. So make sure to stick till the end of this video because you're going to be finding out this one really exciting. So as you can see, I'm right now inside Photoshop and now we're going to be using Adobe Firefly, which is the latest technology released by Adobe. So it is basically an artificial intelligence based technology that can help you to edit your photos with different type of um, tools. Like for example, um, if you see that we, ha we have this rectangular marquee tool and now if uh, when we select it, and make a selection you will be able to see that this little bar just pop up on the screen and this help us to uh, just create different type of visuals and graphics inside our picture so let me just deselect it for now so let me tell you before starting the video let me tell you that what basically adobe firefly is so if you head over to your browser of your choice and type in there adobe firefly you will be eventually uh, heading over to their website. So here as you can see the very first link is going to be directed towards Adobe Firefly and You can see that we have different type of options in here. So this is click on get Firefly free So by the way, if you want to experience Adobe Firefly for free, you can head over to their web um, So you can see that what will you dream up? with Firefly. So here as you can see it has to offer a lot of different type of features um, like for example we have text to image so if you simply type in here anything it will be converted into text so you can see it is giving an example as well. After that you can see we have generated fill so like for example if you select a shirt and type in here a command you can change the shirt as well. I'm going to be demonstrating you that as well inside Photoshop and after that you can see we have text effects so you can simply uh, add some prompts and it will convert it to different type of texturized text so you can see these amazing texts in here after that we have our generative recolor as well so if you want to simply uh, recolor an artwork that is already created you have that option as well now and you can see we have 3D to image and few other options as well. So this is the latest technology that is released by Adobe and they named it Adobe Firefly. And what's great about it is that they released uh, the generative fill inside uh, Photoshop. So if you head over to your Photoshop and here as you can see I have opened an image. So let me just demonstrate you uh, that how it works is that first of all you select your uh, like for example rectangular marquee tool and now let's just make a selection uh, to a sky okay so this looks pretty good to me and once your selection is created here you can see we have this box saying generative fill after that we have this brush icon and some of the masking options so if you head over to these three dots you can even hide the bar you can reset bar position and pin the bar so if you want to simply deselect it click on this deselect and your selection will be deselected. So let me undo that. And now we are going to be um, typing in here a prompt. So like for example, let's just type in here um, sky um, blue and beautiful. Yeah, so let's just see what it is going to be generating. Click on generate. And just wait for a couple of seconds until the bar is loaded fully. It is also giving you a tip that only select that what you want to change and rating will completely change the content in your selected area. So everything in the selected area will be changed. So it's also going to be uh, giving us a prompt. So right now, as you can see, it has changed uh, our scenery, but eventually it has not generated some sky. So let's just type in here the prompt again. Like for example, generate a... Uh, sky in the selected area okay now let's just click on generate and just try it for ourselves and let's just see what it is going to be doing let's wait for a couple of seconds again all right so here as you can see we have generated some um, clouds and sky in here so you can see this is was the original image and this one one that we edited so let me just remove 
um, the clouds that we created and let me show you another example by um, adding some stones or mountains in this area so let's just select this particular area and type in here a prompt that says um, generate some um, rocks and let's just press generate now just wait for a couple of seconds until it loads up all right so here as you can see it creates some amazing looking rocks and even they look seamless so if you hide your layer you can see there was no rock and if you just turn it on you can see the rock is now visible similarly you can just modify this house as well so just select this house and let's just click on um, this generate a fill option and now just click on just generate and let's just see what it does so I've just entered uh, no prompt but I have cr uh, clicked on generate and let's just check out what it is going to be doing so you got the idea right it is uh, really powerful so you can see it just completely removed that so if you want to do that we can um, also have that option as well and let's just check out uh, some other variants so you can see we have these two arrows it gives us the option of different uh, variations so if you click on this different variations are going to be happening now let's just select our image again and let's just say I want to add a helicopter in the sky so let's just type in here um, add a helicopter in the sky and let's just check out what it is going to be doing click on generate just wait for a couple of seconds and now it is going to be doing its magic and hopefully hopefully it's going to be adding something there let's just see what it will do oh so it added something and it looks really really um yeah so this one looks really really great so you can see how amazing this helicopter looks and yeah so that's pretty much it with this adobe firefly so yeah you just saw that it is really really powerful and it has the capacity to generate different type of um, stuff so let's just uh, generate another thing like for example if i want to create some waterfall in here so i'm going to be just selecting this area and let's just type in here a prompt like for example add a waterfall and just hit generate and we are going to be waiting again and hopefully it adds something really interesting so let's just check out that what it is going to be doing in this particular area so okay so we got our waterfall as well so yeah this looks pretty great so let me just show you the original image that was um, previously so let me head over to my history window and I'm going to be clicking on the very first image yeah so this was our original image and using Adobe Firefly the generative fill specifically we created something that looks like this that's the power of Adobe Firefly and you can utilize it to create amazing visuals and image editing I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did so make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and share with the friends. Thanks so much for watching and see you around in the next video.